Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this brown shaded triangle ACE inside this square ABCD. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, line segment uh, AC bisects this angle ACB into two equal parts. Now we are going to calculate the area of this brown shaded triangle ACE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's the very first thing we can see. This AC is the diagonal of this uh, square ABCD. And we know that this whole angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, the half of these one, these are going to be 45 degrees each. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ADC. And we are going to calculate the length of this uh, diagonal AC. We know that this is a right triangle. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as a side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side B. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 8. So this becomes 8 square. B is 8 square as well. Equal to C square. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square on both sides. So therefore our C value turns out to be 8 times uh, square root of 2. As we know that uh, we can simplify this uh, square root of 128. We know this side uh, C is same as this line segment uh, AC, the diagonal. So therefore, our this line segment AC, the diagonal turns out to be A times uh, square root of uh, 2. So therefore, our this uh, line segment AC is A times uh, square root of 2. Now let me show you a shortcut to calculate the diagonal of uh, any square. If the side length of a square is a, then its diagonal is going to be a times square root of 2. Now as in our case, our side length is uh, 8, then our this diagonal is going to be simply 8 times square root of 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and drop a perpendicular from this point E onto this line segment AC. Let me go ahead and drop uh, this perpendicular. So this is going to be 90 degrees. And here it is, much nicer looking diagram. And as a result, we can see that these two triangles, this triangle and this triangle, they are congruent triangles. As we know that this angle is equal to this angle. This is a 90 degree angle. This is a 90 degree angle as well. And this uh, side length uh, EC is in common. So as a result, uh, this uh, side length uh, BC and this uh, side length FC are equal in length. If this is 8, this side has got to be 8 as well. Now let's go ahead and observe one thing. This whole length uh, AC is 8 times square root of 2. And this line segment uh, FC is 8. So therefore this uh, line segment uh, AF is going to be the difference of this and this. So I can write uh, 8 times square root of 2 minus 8. So therefore our this line segment AF turns out to be 8 times square root of 2 minus 8. And if we take 8 as a common outside, so it's going to become 8 times square root of 2 minus 1. And now let's focus on this uh, small triangle uh, AFE. We know that this is a 90 degree angle and this is uh, 45 degrees and we know the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this is an isosceles triangle since these two angles are equal. So therefore as a result these two side lengths 
a f and f e are going to be equal and if this side length is a times square root of 2 minus 1 this has got to be 8 times square root of 2 minus 1 as well so therefore our this side length f e turns out to be 8 times square root of 2 minus 1 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, brown shaded triangle a c e and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base time height so therefore the base a c of this uh, brown shaded triangle is going to be 8 times square root of 2 and the height is going to be f e which is 8 times square root of 2 minus 1 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so area of this triangle is going to be a equals to a half time base in our case is a times square root of 2 and then times 8 times square root of 2 and then minus 1 which is the height and in this next step when we simplify this thing that is going to give us 4 times square root of 2 now if we distribute this multiply that is going to give us 32 times 2 minus square root of 2 if we put in a decimal notation so area is going to be approximately equal to 18.75 square units and here's the area of this brown shaded triangle thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye